Uh, uh. Hello? <coughs> right. Um, okay, still fixing bugs um, and all, all sorts of crashes. Uh, crashes and bugs, and I'm getting a bit disorganised actually. Mm. I get um, actually a lot of a lot of bug reports coming at ex exactly the same time, um, which is good. Um, uh, yeah, so I was, I was fixing loads of bugs sort of off camera because I wasn't feeling wasn't feeling very well actually, and um, just couldn't be bothered to talk while doing things. But um, so, uh, oh, what was this? Uh, okay, let's just commit this stuff. Um, fix. This was... <clears throat> Uh, fix the fix manipulator in points not updating on undo. Right, get this out of the way. Um, so last night before I went to bed. I found a bug that has been, it must have been around forever and nobody's ever noticed it. Um, where, the, where was it? Oh, it was in here, right. Okay, I'll demonstrate the bug. <coughs> Just to remind myself as well. I've had one cup of coffee, which is not enough. I like to maintain my body at like 99% coffee. Otherwise I just don't, uh, don't work. The problem was, what was the problem? If I create a manipulator envelope with some points in it, and then I remove the manipulator and then I press undo to undo the removal, then the envelope data is lost. As far as I know, this has been a, been around ever since manipulators were added, so a year and a half or something, I don't know. I lose track of time. Um, <coughs> and the problem is, so when you remove, um, when you remove a manipulator, um, just uh, very quickly some terminology. This is a manipulator block, and these things that you add are manipulators. So this is a manipulator block with four manipulators on it, or four manipulators configured or set up or. Ad not exactly what the, the correct terminology is. Um, <clears throat> so manipulator block is the actual block and these are individual manipulators in the block. When you remove a manipulator from a manipulator block, what you're doing is you're internally, the way things are in, implemented, you're just disabling that manipulator. So this is Sort of conceptually, a manipulator block has every possible manipulator present, but they're all deactive, they're all inactive by default. <coughs> um, and then you can activate or deactivate them. So when you remove a manipulator from this, this block, even though from an interface perspective it looks like you're removing a thing from a thing, you're actually just deactivating it, which actually 
I mean, in, internally you are removing things from things because it, it will remove a bunch of data structures and whatever. But um, but the actual the action of removing is implemented as the action of, of deactivating a manipulator. Um, so when you remove, it will come through. But so when you remove, it's creating an undo redo action for the act of removing. So that you can press Control Z to undo it, and then Control Y to redo the act, the act of removing the manipulator. Okay, uh, I, think, I think that makes sense. Right. So when you remove a manipulator, we're coming through this function here um, to produce the undo redo action. And it's called set active because we're setting active to false. So this boolean will be false. So, um, we don't have, um, like at, at, at this level, we're not dealing with like some kind of manipulator object. What we're dealing with is the manipulator block and the manipulate I call it a manipulator target here, but I, get, I prefer to call it a manipulation target, I suppose. So the block and the target. So the target would be, I guess I could show this data structure. It's basically, um, it's a unique identifier um, for um, the target, because like, I, like I've said many times before, um, an amplitude manipulator target or manipulation target however you want to say it um it can act on any adjacent block that happens to have an amplitude parameter so it's not a um you're not so if you have like <laughs> multiple intersecting blocks with amplitude um parameters on them then um You're not when you when you add a manipulate an amp manipulator here, what you're adding actually is a manipulator target, and then it will create an individual manipulator object for each intersecting block, and then connect things together. I might be explaining this in too much detail, but um, if you get this far into the videos, maybe you're interested in this kind of thing. Um, <coughs> oh yeah, I was just sort of explaining the interface of this function, I suppose. The so you have I'm passing in the manipulator block and the target that we're um, deactivating or activating. Right. Um, yeah. So we're looking at the block's current manipulators. And we're saying, do, do we already have um, this target that we're talking about? And if we do, then it means that it's currently active. And then we're just checking, just in case we get to this point, um, if, we're, if we're setting it active and it's already active, then don't do anything. Or if we're setting it inactive and it's already inactive, then don't do anything. Okay. <clears throat> Then we get to the actual creating the do and undo uh, commands. So when this action occurs, we're going to run this lambda here. And this lambda will also be run anytime you redo this action in the undo redo stack. And when you undo this action, anytime you undo this action, this will happen. So. Yes. And the problem with this is that we're not saving any of the manipulated data. The manipulated data needs to be saved into the undo redo history so that it can be recalled and the block can be, the manipulation data can be restored. Um, the reason this isn't a problem, because we have a similar 
thing going on with blink blocks and blink parameters where you can create envelope data like this and then you can remove this and then undo the removal but it does recall the data um, but that is because Why is that? I think I just... When I add... If I remember correctly, when I add modulation data to a, a blink parameter, the modulation data is just stored against the block. And it stays there even if you remove the modulation, it doesn't clear that modulation data. So when when you activate that modulator again, it just says, hey, I already have modulation data for this. Um, and it doesn't matter whether you're undoing, whether you're reactivating the modulation by undoing, because um, that modulation data is just not cleared when you, when you remove it. Um, so it's, it's sort of by chance that that works fine. Because I didn't really th consider that. But anyway, the the modulation data from manipulator envelopes or ma any kind of manipulator, it's not stored. Um, it's not stored against the block. Where is it? Well, things are just set. It, things are just set up differently. So when it, when I remove this manipulation target, it will clear that target from its list of manipulators or list of manipulation targets, I should say, <clears throat> which would be in here. Manipulate block. Manipulator manager, it will move it from here. <coughs> Which removes the data, the associated data. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of a coincidence, or coincidence is the wrong word, but it's a hack, a happy accident that blink parameters don't have this problem and they just sort of work because the reason that I don't remove the envelope data when you remove um, a, a parameter, for example, is to do with the fact that you can hot switch plugins with samplers and synths and effects. So I can switch from classic to fudge. It's literally switching to a different DLL. So they're completely separate from each other, but they both have this amplitude parameter. And so because the the amplitude data is stored against the the block rather than against the plugin, which is how things would normally work in a real door, right? Um, the amplitude data is stored against this block. So when I switch to a different plugin, the amplitude data is still here. <coughs> Whereas manipulators just don't work like that. Um, I mean, the, the way that the manipulation data is managed. Um, with manipulators, if you remove one of these targets, then it actually is removing the object associated with that target, including the manipulation data. <coughs> Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. Um, right. So what we have to do here Ah, fucking hell. Is. At this point, we don't know what kind of manipulation target there is. this is. Because there, there's three types of manipulation target. There's envelopes. There's chords. Because I can, I can also create a manipulation, uh, manipulator for, I don't know if you know this, the scale of either the fudge plugin or the resonator plugin to override the, the scale. 
and there's also things like reverse, which is um, internally it's called a steps manipulator because it has a sort of step editor type thing. Um, but at this point we don't know what the type of the manipulator is. Well, we don't immediately know. So we have to figure that out and then gather the correct data and then store it in the undo redo history and then recall it again. We only have to recall it in the undo operation. In the do operation, the do operation I think is complete. All we do is set it to active. Uh, well, that's a question, isn't it? If I was to add envelope data to one of these manipulators, remove it, and then instead of undoing to get it back, I go here and, which one was it? Attack. Instead of uh, undoing, I remove it and then just go here and re-add it again. Should it remember the envelope data? The answer is I don't know, but for now it's not going to remember the envelope data because that would be a, mu a much bigger change than what I need to do here. But... For what we're working on here, which is add envelope data, remove and then control Z to undo the removal, it should restore the envelope data. That's a smaller change. If I want to support remove and re-add and see the envelope data again, recall it, um, I might need to set things up in a way more similarly to the way the Blink plugins are set up. All right, so let's just concentrate on the undo action. <clears throat> So how do we do this? The do operation is fine. What I need is book ID, target ID, count. Yeah. Um, hmm. Let's just think about how to do this. The problem is there's three different types of manipulator. Envelopes, chords and steps. They all have different data formats. And I don't have any kind of generic... Like save this... Manipulator data and then load it again. Procedures. I don't think I need that. Possibly don't actually need that. Um, What I could do is uh, save it to JSON. No, or save it to. I think I do have a. Um, some kind of. 
Save data. What are you doing, Visual Studio? Is it is it somewhere in here? Manipulator save data. Hmm. This stuff is horrible. Um, this code I'm looking at here is horrible in general, but uh, one of the problems with it is that I never actually... The, uh, the idea behind this code is to have some, like, actual C++ data structures for representing savable and loadable data instead of just using JSON for everything. But all of the manipulated data is uh, just uh, dumping into a big JSON dictionary. Um... Manipulate his data. Oh, okay. So as, as usual, things are just not written correctly. Um, is there no simple way of doing this? I thought this would quite be a quite be actually quite a quick uh, bug to fix. But now that I'm looking at it, I've just realised I don't have any like existing like convenient interface for saving and loading individual manipulator targets i don't think i do Target manager find target load Oh dear 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 this oh dear dear okay um let's just start writing code and see if things uh make sense so if i just keep staring at the at the code it's not gonna it's not gonna magically make sense so Best thing is to start writing. Um, so if we're deactivating the manipulator, let's put it here. If we're deactivating a manipulator, then what do we need to do? Block manipulators get target. 
target ID. So returning a reference. Get Visual Studio is being really slow for some reason, so I'm just going to restart it. See if it helps. My brain's just going blank now. Let's just write things. Um, oh, it returns a expected, does it? Was it? Oh, right. Um, how do I deal with that? Let's just do the lazy thing. So, yeah, 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 right, we should have in here, encode, which will save the manipulated data to a dictionary. This is basically what is used for saving and loading manipulators to and from the project file uh, and it's just json um, so you get the data Look at the target ID data. Let's create a new procedure in there. So set <clears throat> set manipulated data. ID, target ID, data. So we're adding in another um, another command to the undo action. So when we undo, we'll do this and this. If we were deactivating at the point of creating the action. I think that makes sense. So let's do this like this instead. Um, I think that's okay, maybe.
to set manipulated data. Look at the target ID and then a dictionary of the data. Get target ID again. Basically, say Does and then do it the right thing. Is it map? I'm returning a. I can never remember the difference between and then and map. If it's wrong, it'll be a compile error. Okay. Load. Is this actually going to work? Is that actually going to work? Kind of magic if that works. Yeah. This is a virtual function, I think, on the ma manipulator interface. So it, I'm just um, I'm taking that JSON that I uh, I mean it's not JSON it's a it's a dictionary but um, I'm taking that dictionary of just like generic manipulated data well it's not generic it's it's manipulated data for the type of manipulator that it is so it's either either envelope manipulated data or chord data or steps data but i don't know what it is at this point um but i'm calling this virtual load function so it should do the right thing because it it's going to assume whatever type of manipulator it is at this point, it's going to assume that it's receiving the correct type of data from here. Let's just see what happens. See if it crashes or what. Remove, undo, it didn't work. 
Okay. Let's see why it didn't work. So is it actually getting to here? Yes, it is. Let's see what's going on here. does have envelope data oh but it it didn't have what's in it then so when I removed it it should have gone into here remove if offset <clears throat> it did both okay Unfortunately, I can't inspect the Godot dictionary in the debugger, so it's just a bunch of nonsense. Um, Right, this is a bug. This is a, so. There's a bug here in the way that manipulated data is being saved and loaded completely. It's just a, it's a different bug to the one that I'm looking at at the moment. So, um, but it's a bug that do it doesn't matter and it sort of does the right thing at the moment because um, the only context in which this um, encode load stuff is happening for manipulator envelopes is when project data is saved and loaded and um, uh, there's a difference between there's a subtle difference between JSON data and Godot dictionary data. And I think that the way that I fix this is by simply doing this. Because we're not dealing with project files now, we're dealing, it's just all happening in memory. And so we're only dealing with these dictionary objects, not with actual JSON. Um, so I think this fixes the issue, maybe. Bing, 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 bing. Remove, undo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay! Very cool. Remove, undo.
redo undo cool um i need to check for other manipulator types so for example a chord we go like this and also this kind of thing which has two modes actually so does this so let's make sure everything oh yeah let's check the override let's check that absolutely everything is re restored so remove 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 undo 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 and let's check everything cool all right that wasn't too bad in the end uh all right the fuck happened here Oh, it's because I sorted a bunch of lines. I like to keep this kind of stuff vaguely alphabetized. Let's just sort everything. There we go. That entire thing is sorted now. Right, whatever. Uh, fix manipulator data not being restored when removal undone. Removed manipulator data not being restored on undo. Okay. <laughs> 